last time on The Great Ace Attorney. After closing with the final statement of not being able to ascertain if the Gilded is guilty or not, the judge ruled in favour of a not guilty verdict, and we left the courtroom with a somewhat hollow victory. We have a brief conversation in the antechamber, and after modestly rejecting his thousand guinea payout, McGilded was called back into the courtroom as Scotland Yard was conducting another investigation of the omnibus, and he wished to be present. Just as we were about to leave, we were introduced to a young pink-haired inventor who seemed quite angry at Lestrade for stealing one of her inventions. The next day, we learned that the omnibus was set ablaze in the courtroom with someone locked inside. None other than Mr. Magnus McGilded himself. But Rianosuke has little time to ponder what's happened as Strongheart has provided him with a new case to solve. Time is ticking. And now we have to cooperate with a very angry, chip munching Scottish inspector. So, let's get back into it. Hello everyone and welcome back to Disillusion Plays The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles where we play the games and do the voices. Yeah. But before we do, I'm Sarah. I'm Pete. And I'm Taylor. And if you do like what we do for some bizarre reasons, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and ring that notification bell for notifications of our video uploads every Wednesday and Saturday. Yeah. And with that, let's get back into everything. <laughs> Here we are. Okay. Yeah. It's time to get a very angry... <laughs> an angry Scottishman. Angry Scottish inspector. Are you yes. ready, Taylor? <laughs> I was born ready. <laughs> I was ready as a level B. <laughs> Gladiators, ready. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I. I don't believe we've been introduced. This is Mr. Rienosuke Narahodo, a defence lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Narahodo's judicial assistant, Suz... Yeah. <laughs> it's lovely weather we're having today, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> He's got no chin. He's got no chips either. No. <laughs> It is unseasonably fine, I grant you. London winters don't see a lot of sunshine. Unbelievable! How did she pull that off? <laughs> because I'm a lady. It's because she chose who to say it so, to. So, yeah. Lord Strongheart has asked me to fill you in on the case. The name's Tobias Gregson. Inspector Gregson to you. I'm from Scotland Yard. <laughs> Sorry, I never I'm, would have guessed. I just, yeah, I just can't help the, the whole the him being Are Scottish from Scotland Are you trying to Yard. take the piss? <laughs> Gregson? Uh, um, Inspector Gregson? What's the matter with Suzato, son? The only thing I've got an appetite more for than for chips is justice. <laughs> <laughs> and I even put salt and Does... vinegar on that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Does this detective's name mean something to her? Okay. Inspector Gregson. Inspector, are you perhaps... THE Inspector Gregson? Oh, Lord. <laughs> You're acting like you know this man, Miss Suzato, but he's a London detective. Oh, I do know him. Uh, very well, in fact. Very well? Yes. He features prominently in the adventures of Herlock Sholmes. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's Greg, oh, Inspector yes. Gregson, yeah. <laughs> oh, in that publication. What's it called again? Nonsense magazine? <laughs> I mean, Ranst magazine? That's right. Inspector Gregson and Mr. Sholmes enjoy a wonderful, friendly rivalry. Really? You rival the great Mr. Sholmes? That's incredible. 
<laughs> um, well, I, uh, I don't know about that. Mr. Sholmes isn't a professional like myself, of course, but he does come up with the goods from time to time. Mr. Sholmes is equally complimentary about you, Inspector, isn't he? You've earned his highest praise. Gregson is the pick of a bad lot of all the Scotland Yarders. Those were his own words. That's his highest praise? <laughs> well, Mr. Sholmes isn't particularly known for giving compliments, you see. No, I suppose not. That he is not, and thanks to that magazine, my name's known all over London town now. How's a man supposed to eat his chips in peace when people are like, Oh, Inspector Gregson, my child's been kidnapped. Oh, Inspector Gregson, my dog's gone missing. Laddie, I'm off the clock. I'm eating my chips. <laughs> oh, Mr. Leave Gregson, me alone. my cat's stuck up in your tree. <laughs> Could you get the wee oh, kitty down? it's not my bloody fault the cat, the daft thing, <laughs> clammed up there for the third time today now, is it? <laughs> I would again like to sincerely apologize to uh, all citizens living in Scotland. Um, we're sorry. I am not, I, we're, we're, we're terribly, terribly, we're terribly, terribly sorry. We're terribly sorry. I would <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I would I would also like to apologize to the people who live within the United Kingdom, but I feel as though my my accent there is not quite as out of place. <laughs> but, you know, honestly, all kind of, you I know, mean, just most look, of the eastern seaboard is look, kind of like getting getting the... At this point, you should understand that if you're watching this, you should understand that like an apology goes without saying. Yeah. Yeah, just, like, <laughs> just assume we are very very just sorry. Apology is pr a presumption presumption of an apology. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> I have to admit that to start with, I was a little, uh, well, flattered by all the attention. Everyone wanted to shake my hand and my reputation at the yard went through the roof. Well, that's wonderful. No, it is not! <laughs> There's nothing more sinister than the man on the street. Oh, People are always looking- oh my god, it's actually what I said. <laughs> are always looking at me now. They're whispering rumors about me under their breath, I'm sure. <laughs> rumors? Uh, are you quite sure? It's changed since he started appearing in those stories. The fame's gone to his head. Stuff like that. <laughs> Gosh. Do you really think people are saying such mean-spirited things about you? It still gets me when Susato's pulling a face like that. You know, she's <laughs> surprised, right? And then as she's speaking, she's like, her mouth's like smiling and then sad. Smiling sad, smiling sad, smiling sad. <laughs> as she's, it's really weird. Like I said, oh my God. Like I, oh, like I said, they whisper. So I can't catch exactly what they're saying. But I know what folk are like. <laughs> I'm sure that's what they're saying. As sure as eggs is eggs. Egg. Uh, what? Um... <laughs> I get the feeling this detective could be very hard work. Oh dear. Perhaps a sudden rise to fame does change people. See, now you're doing it! <laughs> yeah. You see what At I mean? least wait till I'm out of the room to start whispering. <laughs> it was what I used, wasn't it? You're spreading the rumors. We've only been here a day. I don't care! <laughs> you're doing it! <laughs> so, um, about the case that the Lord Chief Justice mentioned before. <laughs> Nothing to tell, really. Where's your chips go? <laughs> Flew them on the floor. Ugh. In my pocket. <laughs> where else would I have put them? <laughs> just a nice green. As far as we're concerned, at the yard, it couldn't be simpler. It's just got like a really, really greasy pocket. I'll just say, yeah, like what? a great massive grease patch on oh, his pocket. It's like, oh no. It smells of like salt and vinegar in here. Just every time he puts his hand in, it's like, what? Oh. Oh dear. That's probably means. So what I do is I line my pocket with salt and vinegar. And oh, then no. when I get my new chips, I just dunk them in my pocket. And that then is gross. my chips are pre-seasoned. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about a thing. They're right although, there. Although I've got a wee problem that the vinegar just disappears and it soaks through. Don't don't think about the wet patch. Don't just think about the just wet patch. ignore it. It's fine. 
Just don't look and you'll be fine. <laughs> I'll just keep myself slightly turned to the side and then you'll never and notice. You can't see it. You can't see it, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I have set my life. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> That's as far as we're concerned as lawyers. It couldn't be more complicated. Oh, that's a real shame for you then, isn't it? <laughs> oh, boo hoo! <laughs> He's so angry. <laughs> He's a like, grumpy man. I wish you were wrong about that, but I have a nasty feeling you're right. It's like an angry sailor. A young woman was walking along the pavement on Briar Road when she was stabbed from behind. Ooh. I think her name was Mucker or Mucky Muck or something like that. <laughs> was she perhaps the 16th student uh, in a certain <laughs> school? The ultimate despair He's they called it. not going to be the only angry one if you're not careful. <laughs> I'm going to get seriously pissed. Oh. Fortunately, it's some fucking hell wasn't wasn't was not fatal. Wow. <laughs> but she's still laid up in hospital, unconscious. That's despicable. What sort of coward would attack the poor woman from behind? Jack the bloody ripper, how the hell should I know? <laughs> no, it's Jock the Ripper. <laughs> oh, could you imagine if they're gonna I, I, Oh, there's not gonna be a Jack the Ripper because the, they're be. obsessed well, with no, it. No, I, they? yeah, 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 yeah. I have said I have said this I have said this before, and I will say it again. <laughs> whenever it seems like whenever there is like an anime or something that depicts London in any fashion, there's always Jack the Ripper. Mm -hmm. It is just it is just a thing. It's the only thing when there for. was it's it's gotta be. It's like, <laughs> oh sorry. There's like the I forget the name of it, but it's like there's that one anime where all those like mythological figures fight to the death in some arena or something, and then you know for whatever reason it's it comes up to this next champion's turn, and then you know friggin' Big Ben appears, and then the rest of London, and I'm sitting there watching, and I'm like, they're not gonna friggin' put Jack the Ripper in there, are we? Are they? It's not gonna be Jack. And introducing the champion Jack the Ripper. Uh. It's like oh my. God, <laughs> there's other people in London, you know. <laughs> At least one other person exists in London. <laughs> the Queen, for God's sake. Yeah, the Queen. Yeah, I could have the Queen doing a the smack queen, down. The <laughs> Queen versus Jack the Ripper. <laughs> what and, is and Black people? Clover as well. There's like one of the one of the big captains is called like Jack the Ripper, who has an obsession with cutting things. It's like, for God's sake. <laughs> We've gone slightly anyway, off that topic. Tangent but yeah, it makes sense because it's a woman. You... It's a woman victim. <laughs> Don't encourage it, Sarah. Sorry. <laughs> I suppose you would have finished whoever it was off at the Suzato takedown, would you? That's neither here nor there, Mr. Narohodo. Brace yourself for your nose, If I him now. <laughs> anyway, after something of a whirlwind investigation, the criminal was arrested. He barely had time for a cup of tea after the incident took place, to be honest. So there must have been something left at the scene that led you directly to the culprit? Or perhaps a reliable witness who recognized the person in question? Let me stop you right there. You're wasting your time on this one. Sorry? There's nothing you can do. There's no way to help the bloke now. Why ever not? Simple. The prosecutor that's been assigned to the trial tomorrow is Lord Berak Van Zeeks. Oh, I've already come across him. You know, I... <laughs> oh, bother. Oh, no! Sounds like you've heard of him then. He's never lost the case. Oh. Except for yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes, we are very familiar with Lord Van Zeeks. Believed to be the harbinger of death itself. Well, no need to be so dramatic. <laughs> the Reaper of the Bailey. Okay. Oh yes, another option. Mm -hmm. Lord Beric Van Zeeks, who we faced in court only yesterday. Mr. McGill did told us about him before the trial, didn't he? Flashback. <laughs> All of the voices. When Van Zeke stands for the prosecution, they call the accused his uh, sacrificial lambs. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, they got my best angle. <laughs> and in every single trial in which he's been the prosecutor, the accused have been 
Damn it. Damn, Damn it. it. <laughs> this Reaper of the Bailey nickname. I suppose he's earned that because every defendant he advocates against is found guilty. Is that it? Mm. <laughs> well, if that's the case, we should inform you, Inspector. That in yesterday's trial against Lord Van Zeeks, Mr. Narohodo secured a verdict. <laughs> he got totally owned! <laughs> he got pwned! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Narohodo secured a verdict of not guilty. Yes. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> and what of it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, um, uh, I think. That means that even against the Reaper of the Bailey, it is not impossible to save the defendant. No, you really don't have a clue, do you? What do you mean? <laughs> right back in the pocket. <laughs> what happened to that bloke in the end, eh? He's dead. Ah! Magnus McGilded had came a cropper in that omnibus when it went up in flames. So you can't rightly say you saved the defendant now, can you? I mean, well... well. <laughs> what, what are you saying? Look, if Van Ziggs could get the dirt to stick on everyone, he'd be a miracle worker. But that's not how it goes. He doesn't work miracles. He works magic. Black oh, magic. What? So, like, regardless of verdict, the people end up dying. Like, if they're guilty, then mm. they get sentenced to death, and if Maybe they're not Van guilty, then Jack the Ripper. it does. <laughs> and they perish. It does seem a bit weird. Yeah. I'd have a good long think about that if I were we you. We don't use the M word around here. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a very unfortunate accident. A series of very unfortunate <laughs> accidents. There has been a, a murder in Sanford for 25 years. <laughs> no look catching that Are killer, we is really that? supposed to believe? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I understood that <laughs> Are we really supposed to believe that? <laughs> right, well, I filled you in as requested, and I'm very nearly out of chips. <laughs> so I'll be heading back to the crime scene now. We're still carrying out a few investigations there. It was Briar Road you said, didn't it? Didn't you? Where the incident took place? That's correct, ma'am. And if you head over to the holding cells, you can meet the criminal himself. You've branded him a criminal already? He's as good as. Shaking like a leaf in his cell he is. It'll give you a chuckle, if nothing else. Oh, this accent is absolutely <laughs> He's inmate 53. Speak to the jailer and he'll show you the way. <laughs> Inmate 53. Thank you. Sorry, Taylor. I have punished you. <laughs> I saying he should be Scottish. Right, well, well, you didn't make him Scottish. You just put the suggestion there. <laughs> you laid the foundation and Taylor took it upon himself to uh, follow through. And we wouldn't... And I'm never going to give we up. We wouldn't have this glorious... Because there's one thing I won't <laughs> yeah. do. We wouldn't have this glorious accent. <laughs> so there's no helping anyone against the Reaper of the Bailey, they say. Is something troubling you, Mr. Narohodo? Uh... To tell the truth, when I recall the trial yesterday, I can't stop myself from shaking. She says, well, visibly not shaking. <laughs> <laughs> The idea of facing the Reaper in court again is... Well, if you think it's too much for you, there's no shame in turning the case down. That takes courage, too. Hmm... What if the man they've arrested is innocent? Hmm? You could well imagine he would be shaking like a leaf in his cell. And I, for one, wouldn't find the sight of that funny. So... If I'm honest, I'm still reeling from the shock of yesterday's events myself. And I'm really not sure if I'll be able to help this man, whoever he is. But I'd like to try. 
So I think I'm going to make some inquiries. Will you help? Uh, did you really think you had to ask? After all, I'm your judicial assistant. Thank you. So then, shall we? Yes. Let's go! Da, 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 da. Let's just hope that this event doesn't end with you somehow being framed for murder. <laughs> that would be quite inconvenient. <laughs> well, yeah, tell me about it. not Maya. Try <laughs> having to bail out your judicial assistant like five times. <laughs> we go to Briar Road or the prison. The prison. We want prison. to meet the new chap. The prison. Well, the, the I say chap. The well, he man said he was a bloke. Or, the so. man or lady. He said he was a bloke. Right, so it's probably they some did. unscrupulous chap. <laughs> Local prison nine. So these are British prison cells. Not very pleasant, are they? Oh, they're ghastly. It feels just like a dungeon. Yes, and having experienced it in Japan myself, I can assure you that our wooden cells feel a lot cosier than these cold stone walls. Cosier, Taylor, really? Cosier. Yes. It are you, are you suggesting that uh, because there is a lack of a Z there that you can't read it? Is that what you're suggesting there, sir? Indeed. Cozier. Mm. <laughs> oh, don't, Mr. Narodo. You're making it seem worse. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Crying so Suzato. Apparently, our client is in the cell here, not the well, he's bed. He's doing a very good job of invisible. Where is he? Under the bed. But it's so, but it's so dark at the back there that I can't make him out, even though I can clearly see the bed, the manacles, and the candle. Oh, at the back a candle. of the wall. Yeah. <laughs> the I wonder what he's like. He's hiding ever so slightly out of frame. Yes. Uh, and my fifty-three, your legal representative is here to see you. Stop hiding at the back of the cell and show your face at once. Now, who is this going to be? Am I? Am I a cat, as yet with no name? Calling me by a number, it's utterly, unbelievably, unjustly unreasonable. I refuse to answer. Um... I'm presuming that's the, <laughs> that, that fits. I mean, that. yeah, we have seen a guy that looks a bit weaselly with a moustache. I'm presuming it's, 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 it's that, yeah, the guy from the <laughs> Um, Mr. <clears throat> Narahodo, what... What do you think is going on here? I have no idea. But if I wasn't just hearing things... Oh, but I wasn't just hearing things, was I? That uh, tirade of complaints was in Japan... Oh. Oh, oh. 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 oh, oh he's yes, Japanese. <laughs> okay. His eyes, man. Oh, They're the, creepy. Yeah. Ooh. Creepy eyes. He's got a uh, drawn-on eyebrow. Yeah, kind of weird, sort of, the way they've sort of sketched it yeah. off. Yeah. Like, sort of pencil-y. Um, excuse me, but... Shh! Quiet! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, he's, he's twitchy. They're he's watching. twitchy. They're watching. They are watching. They're all around. Hiding. Oh. I know they are. They're watching, listening, even now. I... I can sense it. Okay. <laughs> Susato, are you sure that it wasn't inmate 54 or 52 we were supposed to see? Are you quite positive? Um, right. So, could I there ask you, are. you who exactly... You've come to curse me, haven't you? Don't try to hide it. You're a ghost. Uh... Is your name Hiroshi by any chance? <laughs> Uh, I have no words. <laughs> Hiroshi, don't you mean uh, Yasuhiro? Yeah. Or Yasuhiro, rather. Uh, we mean you no harm, prisoner Sam. Are you J Japanese by any chance? His eyes. <laughs> oh. Like, oh, a fellow Japanese person. <laughs> I am so enamored to have <laughs> met you. Why? Why have you turned into <laughs> I know. John Armstrong? This, this is... This is... Beyond my wildest dreams! Oh, them teeth, yo. <laughs> he's like a nutcracker. Oh, God, no! Why did you say that? I don't because like that's what the teeth... Are... Forgive me for that outburst before. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's... 
Fine. <laughs> uh, we were just a little surprised, that's all. Yeah, imagine it! Oh. It's been twelve long months since I left my hometown, and here I am in a frightful fix in a foreign land. So, hearing the sweet, sentimental tones of a compatriot's voice here in this damp, dark hellhole was a, a most monumentally moving movement. I'm it's sorry. Fr- I'm it's sorry. Captain Gin. I've just said just- the F word. It's Captain Gin. I was just about to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's moment, not movement. Moment. I said moving movement. Move. What? Most monumentally moving See, moment. you said moving movement. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I could just do the whole thing again if you want, like, most monumentally moving moment. Only if you did the pose with every line. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I, think, hundred, I, think I definitely I did it. I punched in the face if he did. I mean, I managed to do it without punching Sarah in the face, of course, but I 100% did it. Couldn't You could hear it in my voice. Who could have guessed that this new client, Lord Strongheart, assigned to us? would turn out to be a fellow Japanese. (laughs) Ah, what compassion my fellow countrymen show to dispatch. Panda Ryunosuke, whose face is a blank (laughs) canvas of absolute worry and anxiety. To dispatch a first-class lawyer all the way from Japan to defend a mere foreign student. Noble, nurturing, never-failing Nippo! Or Nippo! Ah, a first-class lawyer. Oh, dear. (laughs) Oh, dear. I think there's been something of a misunderstanding here. I wonder, uh, would you be so kind as to tell us what's happened? Why you've been detained as a suspect, for example? Yes, yes, I can. I will. Shan't stay sullen and silent. (laughs) What's going on? Was he a cheerleader in a past life? It does seem like he was a yeah, cheerleader. He invents cheerleading. Yes, he invents cheerleading. I'm not quite sure I understand what he means, but he seems happy. Yes, he does. I just hope he actually has a good reason to be. Thank you for your cooperation. I am a lawyer, as you said. My name is uh, Ryunosuke Naruhodo. As I am Narahodo-san's judicial assistant, Suzata Mikotoba. I am a visiting student sent here by our government. Notably, notoriously named Natsumi Sos... Was it Soseki, do we Soseki? think? Soseki Natsumi. Okay, well... He's oh. a fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> he is a, is a fruit loop. <laughs> So Seki Natsume san. Uh, what an unusual name. Call me Soseki. Soseki, please. I am a poet. Oh. I am a poet, you see. A writer of haiku. It's something of a nom de plume. A nom de plume? Uh, you mean an alias? Mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. oh, 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 oh. He's looking on a sweet. Okay. Just, it just look. I don't know that face though. <laughs> it's a bit weird, isn't As it? As you can see, this is why we. Uh, <clears throat> this is why we detained the man as soon as we saw him. <laughs> he started doing that posing all over the place, <clears throat> and I immediately brought <clears throat> him in. Just if <laughs> not for this, then he's done something else. He's disturbing mm. the locals. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm. And me, That's most right, of all. Narodo-san. No, no, no! Don't be so prosaic! It's much more refined than that! And haiku? Oh, that really reminds me of home. <laughs> Did I hear you say you were a visiting student? Sent here by the government? Yes, yes, that's right. A year ago, I was told to go and study English. First, I had to suffer that misery, and now this! It's beyond the pale! Suffer that misery? Did you not want to study here? Oh, no. I mean, I've had an interest in Great Britain for some years, of course. Oh. But... (laughs) <laughs> Just because the government tells you to do something. 
<laughs> Just because the government tells you to do something, does it mean you can do it? No. What do you mean? If they had told me to study English literature, that I could have understood. That's my field. But no, they told me to study the English language. Utterly, unbelievably, unjustly, unreasonable. Unreasonable. Uh, I see. I'm so glad you're behind those bars. <laughs> Only the other day, I was told to send a report about my first year here. I tendered a blank piece of paper. Well, Why that's words on white? What she? Ah. You must be a man of great standing. Oh yes. So I so I'm often told. And often like to be told, it seems. Mm, yes. Mm. <laughs> no, it's making me feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> I, it's that face. I don't yeah, even know it, what it means. Like I don't. I don't. I, it's like what the heck is that I don't face? Know. <laughs> Ugh. Could you perhaps tell us exactly why you've been arrested, suzeki san I didn't do it. I didn't commit that atrocious murder. Murder. Oh no, no, no! It's all right. The woman didn't actually die, did she? But she that was! Not but she was stabbed with a knife right before my eyes! Before your eyes? You mean you saw the attacker? See, that face is a nutcracker. Yeah, I don't like it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. I didn't anyway. see anyone. What? If I'd seen the person who did it, do you think I'd be locked up in here? Oh dear. It seems this case is becoming rather complicated. Why me? No, Why me? no, not at all. Why did that silly woman have to be stabbed in front of me? Okay. Jeez. It's the curse. The curse of London. It's incredibly, inexcusably, irritatingly inconvenient. Oh, boy. Is that haiku or just alliteration? I can't tell. Like... I mean, it just looks like alliteration to me, but... Uh... <laughs> So, so Seki-san was there at the scene, but he didn't see the attacker. <clears throat> Wonderful. It's vital that we found out more about the case. Yes, thank you, Suzato. Thank you <laughs> for wanting to spend more time with this About man. the case. So we can talk to him. It was an accursed evening, accursed evening, just after the snow had started to clear and with heavy with fog. I'd been to the bookshop to buy some books, and I was on my way back to my accursed lodgings. <laughs> sure the bookshop wasn't accursed That too. accursed bookshop from <laughs> whence I came. From I whence I purchased <laughs> that accursed book <laughs> with its accursed pages. Well, it's, I guess, uh, yeah. <laughs> As I was walking along that accursed pavement, I could make out the sole silhouette of another ahead of me. A woman wearing a green overcoat she was, and just as I went to overtake her Whoa. Oh <laughs> she suddenly let she suddenly let out a little scream and collapsed onto the cold hard slabs of stone at my feet. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, me. <laughs> I know, it's the only problem, we've got two uh, uh, S's now. Uh, 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 uh. How terrible. I, I, I called out to the woman, but she didn't move. It, it, it was like a ghostly, ghoulish, grim graveyard. Oh, I can't shake like that, because then that, my headset's wild. <laughs> so it's like, Russell, 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 Russell. Slight, Russell. Exag <laughs> Slight exaggeration there, perhaps? I was terrified. I had to get away from there. So I ran as fast as my legs would carry me back to my accursed lodgings. So you fled the scene of the crime M then, maybe. did you? <laughs> oh, that's just lovely. That's not good. They'll, they'll say it was shameful, I know, to run away like that. It was. No, it no, wasn't. No, that not listening. Say it not was. listening. Can't hear you. <laughs> Tell me, suzeki san was the victim an acquaintance of yours? Don't be ridiculous! Don't you think I know any of these fair-haired English and a young woman at that? I'm... I'm di diffident. 
diffident. diffident. Diff? I don't even. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm diffident, shy, timid, unsure. I can't talk to people. Well, you're doing a good job now. I, I see <laughs> a young woman unknown to Soseki-san. And at the time it happened, who else did you see nearby? Did anybody pass you? Dot 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 dot. Regrettably. Apart from myself and the woman, I didn't see a soul. No one? Oh, great. So the victim was unknown to you, and there was nobody else on the street at the time. That creates something of a conundrum, doesn't it? Yes! Yes, you might say it does! <laughs> hmm? What conundrum? Conundrum. What do you mean, Suzette-san? What's the conundrum? Really? <laughs> well, if what Suzeki-san has just told us is true, there's something I can't explain. He says that he didn't know the victim and there was no one else at the scene. Then he apparently fled without having been seen. I did! I did! <laughs> But if that's the case, surely this man has to be the culprit. Ah, you! What did you just say? I didn't say anything. Nothing. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Nothing. <laughs> I, I didn't say anything. Oops. Perhaps I thought that a little loudly. Actually, that's not what was troubling me. What I was thinking was, how did Soseki-san actually come to be arrested? Sorry? He didn't touch the victim, and there was nobody at the scene to see him. Yeah. So how did the police ever discover that he was there in the first place? Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, yes! She's right. Hmm. <laughs> God's sake. It... It... It was him! That... Cursed great detective! He led the oh, police no. to me! Oh dear. Of all the bad luck! A cursed great detective? Could it be? I shall never forget that man's name as long as I live! With his haughty laugh and his self proclaimed greatness! Brash, big headed, busybody, be gone! Ah, oh, there he is! <laughs> May you be cursed until the end of your days, Erlok Shomes! <laughs> I <coughs> am getting uncomfortable, Flashbacks. <laughs> I knew it! Mr. Mr. Shomes? <laughs> I, I love lock. how they think it's like That's German. Like, her, hair. Well, I, I hair guess, lock. I guess her lock, Shams, I guess. Yeah. Hair. Hair lock. Uh, well, what? I didn't expect to hear that name from this man's lips, that's for sure. It was the morning after that nightmare had unfolded on the pavement before me. I was gnawing on a sil I was gnawing on a sliver of hard cheese when some men suddenly burst in through the door. They started shouting at me. This is the police. Put the weapon down. Yes, it was a thin sliver. And yes, it was hard. But I wasn't eating a weapon. Disgusting dietary discrimination devils. <laughs> you clearly had a trying morning yesterday. And there he was, in the middle of all the policemen, grinning like a Cheshire cat. That Herlock Sholmes! It's, uh, it's actually just Herlock Sholmes. Uh, he's English, unfortunately. I've since found out that he's a famous name in detection here in London. Yes, the great detective is really very well known. And his overly sharp mind managed to deduce my whereabouts, apparently. He thinks I'm the knife-wielding madman! Me! This weak, stooped kitten of a man! I wonder what great deduction process <laughs> led him to his conclusion this time. Do you mean to say 
That's Mr. Sholmes' deduction is the only reason the police arrested you? Wouldn't be the first <laughs> time, now <laughs> would it? That would be really most unreasonable. <laughs> well, um, the thing is... <laughs> I was uh, oh I was thrown into a panic when they barged their way in. And I may have oh held some waitresses hostage. Oh dear. And then threatened a small child. <laughs> and then ran away. Oh dear. And <laughs> shot a policeman. <laughs> and then Joy rided on a carriage and <laughs> rode around London like a madman. <laughs> yes. Of course you were. That's only natural. I was terrified and trembling, and they kept throwing question after question at me in impossible English. Fiendish foreign film f flim, flim sorry. <laughs> flim flammery. I love flim flammery. <laughs> flim flammery. Uh, well, we are in England. You can't really blame them for questioning you in English. Good point, good point. But my mind went blank. I I knew I had to answer, but I didn't know what to say. So I just kept repeating things like, yes, I do, and I'm fine. The next thing I knew, oh I was in manacles, and before I knew it, I was thrown in here. Oh, dear. I'm afraid that's hardly surprising. <coughs> uh, are, you the, are you guilty of the crime? Yes, I do. Yes, I am. Please. <laughs> Right, take him away. Yes, yes. I'm fine. He's not fine now. <laughs> Mr. Nyarohodo Esquire. <laughs> oh, you can just call me Naruhodo. And when we're speaking English, a simple Mr. is more than enough. Oh, yes. Um, all right, yes. They've, they've really got to me. This country is poisoning my mind. <laughs> But please, I beg you to defend me in court tomorrow. You can tell them what really happened. You'll do it, won't you? Well, um, oh, oh! Why? Oh, Suzanne-san, we forgot the thing back at the courthouse, didn't we? Ah, <laughs> uh, we must. <laughs> why, why, why is it so hard to say yes to me? Well, the thing is... I'm just a student like yourself, on a study oh, tour. Oh no! Woe is me! I'm <laughs> utterly doomed! <laughs> a, a student? I have defended a case in the Old Bailey. Only the one, though. But at this moment in time, I really don't know what I'm supposed to believe in. I'm confused about what justice in this country even means. Oh, narahodo san I'm not even the foreign student who was supposed to be here. I'm a sort of locum lawyer, I suppose. Locum, locum, locum. I think. I guess locum, but... Yeah. But, but that armband, that's the mark of a defense lawyer from our great empire! It's a, it's a keepsake from the man who should have been here. He was my best friend. A, a keepsake? <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what they're saying about me. Oh? Who do you mean? The lawyers. All the British defence lawyers. They won't defend me. Goodness! Why... why do you say that? For the same reason as you noted before. When it happened... There was only the victim and myself around, and I ran away from the scene of the crime. I'm not a fool. I know it looks as though I must be the culprit. Yes. <laughs> it must be very hard for you, Soseki-san. And anyway, I'm a student from overseas. I'm just a foreign nobody to them. Someone not to be trusted. I hear... Well, you're not foreign to me, and I don't trust you, so I'm not sure it's because of where you're from. I heard them openly laughing about me before, in my earshot, without any compunction at all. Any trial for this man would be a waste of time, they said, and of course the foreigner did it. They even had the gall to say the man doesn't understand half of what's being said anyway. 
Uh, that's awful. They're wrong! I've studied more English than half of the policemen out there on the streets! I've traveled halfway around the world to learn about these people's country and its great history! But no one here wants to listen to a man with a strange accent. They all hate me. So, at the very least, I'd like to entrust my fate to someone who can listen to me in my native tongue. Uh... You could do it, couldn't you? When I look into your eyes, I can see it. I can see what you have been through. So, Zeki-san, it's just that... <sighs> Give me a little time, well, please. Well, please bear in mind I have less than 24 hours before I'm going to be skewered <laughs> in court. So please think quickly. <laughs> hmm? I'll do what I can for the time being. What do you mean? We shall investigate the case as thoroughly as possible. And then, based on how likely it is that we can actually help you, then we'll decide whether we're going to help you or not. No. Because I don't believe you. If we can find some clues, it will give us much a much better chance, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, thank you. I'll be here, all alone, waiting for you, low-come student, Mr. Narukodo Ex... Esquire. Esquire. <laughs> We should be going then, Narahodo-san. We have a case to prepare for. <laughs> I like your voice. Yes, let's go immediately. I like your voice for him. Good! <laughs> oh, is it hurting? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's weirdly tiring. Oh. You should try doing the policeman <laughs> for an extended period of time. That, uh, that bike wheel's a little wonky. I was going to say, it looks like it's <laughs> a, a, little that bike's bit, going anywhere. a little bit worse for wear. <laughs> Well, it's not a penny farthing, is it? <laughs> Aw, snowman. <laughs> so this is where it happened. Briar Road. Oh! Look! Mr. Narahodo! Is she pointing at... Oh. Look at that regulation metal helmet! It's unmistakable! The men of Scotland Yard are here! They're investigating as we speak! Are we going to... Susatta, they look identical to the bailiffs from the courthouse. <laughs> are we going to just, like, pretend that all of the Scotland Yard people are Scottish? <laughs> what are you doing here, laddie? Get away! Get away! <laughs> that is their job, you know? But, Mr. Narodo, to see one with my own eyes... They're often... Huh. William Robbins instead of Robin Williams. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> They're often depicted in the adventures of Herlock Sholmes, but I never dreamt I'd come this close. To a real Bobby's helmet! <laughs> what? The, the helmet? <laughs> of course. I have to try one on one day. Well, I... I hope your hatty dream comes true. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's here. There he is. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. What's the Japanese delegation doing here? Oh, it's Inspector Gregson. This isn't on the tourist trail, as I'm very surely, fairly sure you're well aware. Yes, of course. We're here to investigate. So, you've been to the holding cells, then? What do you make of the criminal? He's not a criminal, as you put it, Inspector. He's a suspect. God. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. You and Japanese like to stick together, oh, I yes, suppose. Oh, yes, casual racism. Yeah. <laughs> well, do what you will. It doesn't bother me. The blokes in court tomorrow, whatever happens. And the verdict's a foregone conclusion. Ugh. The stone-cold air of rejection. Take heart. 
London at this time of year is full of stone cold air. <laughs> that makes it worse somehow. Right, so do we want to converse with Mr. Scotland Yard? <laughs> Taylor's like, no, please or do don't. We want to, do we want <laughs> to examine the scene of the crime? We're going to examine the Zalman. snowman. Let's the examine the, the crime snowman. scene. The snowman. <laughs> oh, what a delightful snowman. I didn't realize the English had a tradition of making snowmen as well. It looks a little creepy, though. Oh, it has a scarf. Look. You'd need one if you were out in this freezing cold all the time. I wish I had one. I'm afraid our budget is somewhat frozen at the moment, too. We certainly can't afford a scarf. Surely the snowman here wouldn't miss his. <laughs> but the person who made the snowman certainly would. <laughs> yes, I know, you're right. Anyway, even if I borrowed it, it wouldn't do much to warm my neck, would it? It's covered in snow. <laughs> okay, and uh, what else shall we click on? I guess this. Oh, that's a Scotland Yard carriage. They use vehicles like that to rush to crime scenes and cart away criminals. You're very well informed, aren't oh, you? Oh, it's all in my little book. <laughs> it's long been a dream of mine to ride one of those through the streets of London. Well, just pick up a stone and throw it through one of the windows, then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's quite what she means. Wow. But that would mean being arrested in order to ride it, wouldn't it? Still, if it's the only way, help me find a good stone. No, no, no! I wasn't serious! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, then why would you say that, you? So, like, do, do, do. Is there anything over? No, no. Irish gets a horse and carry. It's a pony. <laughs> I guess there's those guys. I'm gonna avoid them just for now. No. I've investigated thoroughly, but I can't find it. It's not that. I pressed the wrong button. Ah. <laughs> uh, it's a bicycle, lamppost, door. Okay, right. Strand Street. Oh! This is now Strand it's a Strand type. game. <laughs> <laughs> for good sake. Oh! A British bicycle! Look! Although the wheel is so misshapen, I'm sure it couldn't possibly be ridden anymore. Sounds like Molly X wife. Oh! <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Someone must have been doing some breakneck cycling. It seems bicycles have become extremely popular in London recently. There's even a movement to change women's dresses to allow them to ride as well. Yep. The bicycle fat won't last. I don't see why anyone would want to ride something like that. Hey! <laughs> you know what? If you can't afford a car, then that's the best thing that you can do. <laughs> it's a joke, isn't it, though? Because bicycles get quite popular in that, isn't it? Well, it's not that. It's the fact that Phoenix rides around on a bicycle everywhere. No. Well. Oh. <laughs> okay, yep, yep. A second joke. That's why I was doing the thing, uh, Peter. <laughs> well, and it's good for your I, leg muscles. And I... I and I knew that that's what you were doing. Were you just testing us? I was just making... Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay. I was just... <laughs> Objection! <laughs> Your Honor, he clearly didn't have a clue what was going Objection, on. Objection, Your Honor, I call BS. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> All right, Godot. <laughs> I think I know exactly where it's coming from. <laughs> I can see it here in the bottom of my cup. In the coffee, in the coffee beans. <laughs> can see it in the coffee beans. <laughs> I can see it in the cold black liquid. Blacker than my soul. I'd never ride a bicycle. I'd never. <laughs> That's one of my Instead, rules. I only get around by a skateboard. Skateboard! <laughs> by one wheel. Oh my god. Anyway. Goodness, you don't like bicycles? No, not at all. I mean, it's it's not that I dislike them exactly. It's just that any occupation that involves taking both your feet off firm ground seems reckless. If you'd ever tried walking on stilts and fallen into a river, I know you'd agree with me. We'll have to hire a bicycle sometime. You can <laughs> sit behind me while I ride you around. <laughs> in the little children's chair. Yeah, in the little basket on the front. Or in the yeah, front the basket. basket. <laughs> yeah, basket. That's a rather typical old brick building, isn't it? I'm sure it has a long and interesting history. 
voice went. Well, time certainly seems to have taken its toll on the place. It's crooked and all over. <laughs> what? Like my ex-wife. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> in fact, it looks in decidedly worse shape than the other houses around here. We must find some cheap lodgings ourselves as soon as possible. Yes, you're right. Cheap, but ideally with the reasonably level floors. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! Look at the... Oh, okay. Windows of that building Yeah, because they're all bricked up. Mm. You mean the bricks? Yours. Are you sure they're windows? Yes, but they're all filled in with bricks. Oh, you're right. I wonder why. Perhaps it's an empty property where nobody lives at the moment. There's smoke coming from the chimneys, though. Oh, so there is. And the smoke is actually mm. moving. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Everything still feels very foreign. There's so much we have to learn about this place. As apparently there was a window tax. So people bricked up their windows to say, well, this is not a window anymore because you can't see out of it. Oh, wow. I think that was the thing. Huh. huh. They tax you if you had lots why? of windows. <laughs> the clouds look so big and heavy in the sky, don't they? And with the dense fog as well, everything looks hazy. Well, it is known as Foggy London Town. I can just make out some sort of spire through the fog. It looks like it's still being built, though. Is that supposed to be the Parliament building? Crystal. Oh, the Great oh. Exhibition. Yeah, the Crystal Tower, yeah. Aha! Yes! That must be the Crystal Tower being built for the Great Exhibition that's about to open in six months' time. Have, have you you and Pete been to the uh, the Crystal uh, Tower? We haven't, uh, no, actually. I that's one say, place we haven't been in London. Not familiar to me. No, we haven't we've, been there. Uh, we've not been through... We've not seen a lot in London, to be absolutely fair. We did have, like, a... Oh, wait, is it an actual place in London? I don't know. See, I don't know if it's still standing. I know it was built, like, but I can't remember if it still remains. Maybe it's now the BT building. <laughs> yeah. But no, we've done a bit of London, but... <laughs> around a bit of London. Apparently it's going to be very striking. Glazed on all sides and the symbolic centrepiece of the end exhibition. It's to be the largest exposition in history, is it? Exposition doesn't seem like the right word mm. there. Shouldn't it be exhibition? That's what I'm thinking. Mm. <laughs> hmm. I can't even begin to imagine it. Do do do. Okay. Okay. So let's actually look at the guys. Let's then. talk to the coppers. We'll talk to the standing up guy because maybe because we don't want to distract the other That's one. That's one of the officers from Scotland Yard. The police are making sure the crime scene is undisturbed. I have a feeling that if we wander too close, we'll be clapped in irons. I think perhaps you're being a little overcautious. We've... Now why would that <laughs> be? <laughs> We've done nothing wrong, so we have no cause for concern. Oh, no, I'm not getting caught out again. Twice is enough. Twice I found myself in handcuffs despite not knowing a thing about what was going on. Yes, you've had some... Dreadful experiences. Do you think that animation's gonna come back? <laughs> I'd be shocked if it wasn't. I feel like Herlock is going to put him in the handcuffs just for old times' sake. <laughs> for funsies. For funsies. I'm sure it's that wide-eyed look of panic you're so prone to do. Uh, prone to. It does you no favors at all. Ugh. Low blow, Cesato. Low blow. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Ignore that. Blah, 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 blah. That's one of the officers from Scotland Yard. It was this bit. Ah. <laughs> this patch of pavement must be where the incident occurred. Yes. It's a very wide open space, isn't it? Just lock my oh ex wife. My God. <laughs> Taylor, you gotta be careful. Like if if you've if you're if you set yourself ablaze any further, you're gonna bur you're gonna burn your house down. <laughs> That's true. I can't see. They could have hidden in the snow. <laughs> it's so bad. There is a bush as well. They could have hidden yep. in a bush. I don't. I can't see anywhere an attacker could have been hiding. Uh, Oi! What are you foreigners doing here? Ah! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, um, eh, uh, we are j just investigating the scene, officer. Conspiring with that moustache fella from Japan, are ya? Conspiring? Come here to destroy evidence, have ya? Get out of here before I give you an hiding. Go on. Okay. <laughs> he shoot us away like rats. Yes. We should give him a wide berth, Yes, I think. we should give him a wide berth because that's all we've got time for, so we're going to have to wait till next yeah, time. Yeah, a wide berth of a full week in time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a relief. I thought I was going to have to do more Gregson and I failed for my vocal cords. Um, he says doing the voice. <laughs> Silly Taylor. Silly Taylor. <laughs> but yes. If you like what we do, why don't you hit that like button, leave a comment down below, perhaps with your favourite characters or whatever, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so that you get notified when we put up further videos, or you could just look at your subscriptions and not be judged by the algorithm! And so, make sure you leave a lovely, lively, loving, uh, <laughs> uh something. something. Dang it, I ran out of the Anyway. Anything. Lament. I don't a know. lovely, lively, ludicrous comment. <laughs> and with that, we're sorry. See you later, guys. You take care and stay out of trouble. <laughs> that wasn't Gregson. That was just <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>